Melody Salvatore lives with a horrendous fear that has haunted her for over a decade. I was 11 years old when I got bit. It seemed like I was getting bit forever. Finally, my aunt came, and she, she just pulled the dog off of me. And I just remember my aunt rushing me and my mom rushing me to the hospital right after that. The doctor told me in the hospital that if I was not wearing boots, then I probably would have had really bad nerve damage, and I probably wouldn't be able to walk the same way. The memory of this terrifying incident has affected every aspect of Melody's life, including her relationship with her sister, Melissa. Yeah, where are you at in the front? I'm right in the front, yeah. I get frustrated. It's kind of annoying to have to do this routine every time she wants to come over. And Swizzy does get the bad end of it because he hasn't done anything to anyone. You can come to the gate if you want. When I'm near a dog, I have really bad anxiety attacks. My heart starts to race. I have the shakes. I freeze. I'll stay right here. Just go inside the house. She tells me, OK, I'm coming. I have to get the leash. I have to put him in the room. I have to make sure it's secured. I have to reassure her he's secured. And then this constant worry in the back of my head that, OK, if he does get loose, how am I going to react? Where's my fiance at at this moment? So it's a constant worry. I'm sorry. It's really hard for me. I really do want to get over this fear. It's it, it, a fear, especially for my sister's wedding. So what colors did you decide to choose? My sister and I are only a year and a half apart, and she, of course, she's going to be one of my bridesmaids. We've been doing a lot of planning together, picking up colors and going shopping together. <laughs> we still have a lot of planning to do. She's really excited. She's even asked the priest at the church to um, have the honor of having her dog be the ring bearer. When I first told Melody that Sissy was going to be the ring bear, she thought it was a joke. She laughed, and they were like, OK, that's not funny. And I'm like, well, it's, uh, it's not a joke. It's for real. I feel like I'm going to be more focused on where Swizzy, what's he doing, rather than my sister you know, getting married. And I don't want to be able to have that fear or have to worry about a dog. Swizzy was found as a puppy by Melissa's fiance. There was a box in downtown LA that we're trying to get rid of them. He was the run of the litter. He's just really calm. He loves to watch TV. <laughs> so um, he's just a really good dog, and he listens to me. He is a good dog. I just feel like I don't trust him. He actually looks identical to the same dog that bit me. Swizzy may look like that dog from the past, but it wasn't until Dog Whisperer producer Todd Henderson arrived to shoot preliminary footage that another side of Swizzy emerged. When Todd first came, we were talking, and I was inside the gate, and my sister was outside of the gate. What are you feeling right now, being this close? I'm OK, because he's behind the gate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and Melissa's with him. But she won't touch him. I call him the beast. I guess Todd saw me do his tricks, and he was very friendly, very relaxed dog. So I guess he's like, oh, I'll come in with you. But it kind of made me nervous because he was a stranger, and no one has ever been in that area but near my fiance. So I got really nervous, and I tightened up. And he said, oh, let him, let him sniff me. It'll be fine. And I'm like, OK. So I started to relax, and out of nowhere, he just snapped at Todd. He grabbed with his teeth with his shirt. That hasn't done that before. But he's never bitten anybody? No. He's really mellow. I'm not sure if it's because my sister's so close to him that that's why he's, he's like that. I don't know what happened. 